Neural ODE is an artificial intelligence technique, which really is a combination of the, the training of neural network model with a lot of data, combined with law of physics. And that has two big impacts. The first impact is you need a lot less data because you only need the data for that very specific spectrum. At the same time, you're gonna require a lot less computing power to train the same quality of model, which is quite interesting because you wanna use AI to resolve problems or to reduce the energy being spent, let's say, on a building, but you wanna make sure at the same time that your solution is not consuming a lot of energy. So we're combining these two techniques together. You start to have neural networks which are much more evolved so the application of neural the technique, managing energy in the built environment, we're the first one to do it. We're the first one to have it in production. So it's really the tip of the spear. The quantity of data that we need to obtain a model, which is giving us the accurate prediction so we could start operating on it. Before the roll of the mm, five, six weeks of data. So we need to connect to the building. We need to collect that data for five to six weeks. With neural ODE, we're shrinking that period to three days. First advantage for the customer, well, we deploy, we start attracting. Three days later, we're ready to start modulating because the prediction quality is reaching the level that we need to operate. The quantity of data that we need is generating a lot of training computing on the model. When we're only training with a derivative function, neural ODE into a neural network, with that only three days of data, we're suddenly computing a lot less to obtain the same quality of the prediction. So we're consuming a lot less computing facility in the cloud and a lot less energy. This is great for the planet because obtaining the same results with a lot less energy being spent to obtain that result. At the same time, reducing our cost to operation. On the science side, I would say what's really exciting is the fact that we're moving from using these deep learning network that we're training based on data, and we're, we're making them a lot more intelligent and efficient by combining them with things that, that we know. Uh, as an engineer, we've been using these tools for 50, 60, 70 years when we design building. And just by combining them together, we go to the next level of intelligence. We could apply the same type of technique of having these neural ODE working together. So imagine several neural ODE working together, taking into account the constraint at the grid level and having like kind of a super neural ODE model that would be putting that derivative function but at the grid level instead of the building level. And, and this is a space which is totally green. And at that level, you're not talking about kilowatt, but you're talking about megawatt. And that's where suddenly it's snowballing. It's creating a huge impact very, very fast. That's exactly what we need for the platform. We need to move the needle much faster, and it needs to happen now. So the green field is there. The potential to move the needle is there. It's just a matter of putting all the difficult block together.